guys, how's it going? It is Eve, and today is October 2nd, and the Agency Warzone Extraction event will be ending in a little bit under 10 hours, and a brand new event will be Among Us. This is actually the Crimson Harvest, an event that we had from last year. So for the, those of you that don't know, this is a PvE event once again. So we're going to go ahead and actually run the Blood Raider Gauntlet, which is the site that you need to complete in order to get the agency points that you need in order to get rewards and the very important boosters that everybody is probably going to be grinding as they are pretty valuable. This site, just like the Warzone Extraction site, is found on your overview. It spawns in high sec, low sec, null sec, and possibly wormhole space. And it is a very easy site to complete, consisting of only frigates, cruisers, and a single battle cruiser. So, on initial warp in, you actually have a two room site that you have to complete. The first room consists of actually three waves that you need to clear out, each getting just a little, little bit harder, but nothing really too big, like the sleepers in the extraction site. So, on initial contact to the site, you will be greeted with five Blood Raider frigates, and they only web. And you do need to clear out all three waves in order to activate the acceleration gate leading into the next room. Wave 2 consists of four frigates and one cruiser. The frigates do web, and it is possible to trigger wave 3 in the middle of wave 2. However, every time I ran this, the trigger was a frigate, but due to them all having a generic name, it is really hard to pinpoint exactly what frigate it was that triggered the next wave. However, that being said, if you manage to not trigger the next wave, wave 3 consists of 4 frigates and 1 cruiser, just like the previous wave. Now that you've cleared out the first room, go ahead and activate the acceleration gate, leading to the final room. On initial contact with room 2, you will actually have to go through three waves once again. Wave 1 consists of five cruisers, there are no webs. Wave 2 consists of another five cruisers, also no webs. And wave 3 consists of one Blood Raider battle cruiser. This is the final rat that you have to kill in order to clear the site and move on with your loot. In all my times of running this test, I was actually not able to loot a skin off of the battle cruiser at the very end. This might still be a slight bug, as this is Singularity. I'm not 100% sure if it'll be different for release on Tranquility, but there is a possibility to possibly get skins from the battle cruiser at the very end. But for every single run that I did do, I did get the Crimson Harvest Cerebral Accelerator and then a variety of agency speed boosters and a men's starling dress shirt. So for the most part, those are some pretty good loot drops. The biggest one's probably going to be the Accelerator as it does boost up your training quite, quite heavily. And looking at them on Singularity right now, they actually do have a really long timer. Uh, according to it, the compounds are only guaranteed to function until YC 119 1128. So that is a little bit more than a year from this video. And that is really it for this video, guys. That was the new agency site, the Crimson Harvest site. The Blood Raider Gauntlet. It is a pretty easy site compared to the Agency Warzone Extraction event and Fly Dangerous. Peace. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. You guys can check out my other previous videos by clicking the two uh, thumbnails on screen right now. And if you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more, go ahead and click on that subscribe button. Fly Dangerous. Peace.